and so now what I would love to what do, do e like world crisscross and why is going to attempt to make a little short video if this damn gimbal uh acts right uh because i never showed you guys well again i'm gonna say again because actually i'm pretty sure i got two other videos way back in the archives somewhere showing how to uh use one of these e-bike testers but i'm going to show this again for anybody that's new to the channel and for anybody that's uh too lazy <laughs> to go and look through the 1000 videos i have and find it so again this is uh what they call an e-bike tester uh, you can get one of these from on Amazon for about 20 bucks or less, okay? And uh, what this is mainly used for, uh, you can check pretty much anything with this. You could uh, test the throttle. You can uh, test uh, brakes as far as high and low brake because uh, this has a, a positive five volt output uh it's a lot of things you can do with this tester but uh the main thing people use them for is test hall sensors because it makes it nice and easy especially if you uh retrofit this with a normal hall sensor uh plug now it comes with one of those little tiny uh six pin hall sensors like some of the some of the smaller motors have uh man i ain't, i'm not gonna look around for that but anyway uh i have it with the one that's on most motors and uh as you can see yes i still have this uh motor that i repaired because uh well i fixed it but then uh the guy wants to uh, get rid of his uh, oodles and noodles. Well, he doesn't have oodles and noodles. He's got some decent phase wires. But we're going to upgrade them to a little bit better phase wires than what he has. So uh, we got to do that next. But anyway, I want to demonstrate how to use this hall sensor tester using his wheel. Now, uh, obviously, his wheel doesn't fit my RZ. I just sat it up there in the dropout so we can use it uh, to, to demonstrate. Now, I'm going to go ahead and plug up one of his uh, hall sensors into there. I'm not sure if that's the reserve or the main one. Um, sometimes it's hard to see these LEDs lit up on the... Uh, on there but anyway what should happen when i spin his wheel uh if all the hall sensors are working you know it's three of them just like it's three phase wires you got three hall sensors the yellow the blue and the green when i spin the wheel it should alternate between all three if they're working and as you can see you know it's it's spinning between all three all right, now I'm going to go ahead and switch it to the other set. We'll test the other set. And obviously they're working because I just fixed them. But, uh, yeah, see how they're doing? If they weren't working, they would not be doing that. Or uh, normally if one is shorted, if, if one of the hall sensors is shorted, uh, the red light would stay red and it wouldn't flicker, it wouldn't switch or alternate between the other ones. If they were all open, you would get no lights at all. Uh, sometimes two will be working. You know, they'll be flipping back and forth. Sometimes one will just be flickering. That means the other two are bad. But when all three of them are flickering, they all they're working. So I mean, it's it's pretty easy. That's what makes this so nice and convenient to our uh, test hall sensors. If you don't have this, you can test hall sensors with a uh, multimeter. It's just a 
just a, a different process. Uh, I think I have a video showing how to do that. I really don't feel like going through that right now. But uh, yes, you can. And if you're going to use uh, a multimeter to test hall sensors, I suggest you get uh, some of these little wires with the alligator clips. Uh, as I said, they come in handy. So, that's pretty much it. Just a quick video on uh, how to use, uh, you know, the e-bike tester. So, as you can see, I'm still behind, man. Uh, I'm trying to get caught up. It's been raining like cats and dogs all day down here. Uh, we had thunderstorms and tornado watches and all that kind of mess. But uh, this is the motor off the RZ. All I got to do now is uh, put the phase wires on this thing and uh, wrap it back up. Uh, I was able to get some of this done. Uh, I'm doing it a little different. Uh, initially, I was running... Uh, I'm putting this 8 gauge on uh, my motor. And then initially, I was going to run this 8 gauge from the motor all the way to my controller. However... I said, I might as well go ahead and do it the right way, the way I want to do it, because at some point, I will be getting rid of that BAC-8000. I will be upgrading to a controller that can go higher voltage. I want to go at least 26S or 30S. Not only that, I will be increasing the output power. So more than that, that can only do a max of 840 phase amps. Uh, hopefully, somewhere down the road, maybe we'll want to do 1,200 phase amps, 1,600 phase amps. Regardless, when you're doing a whole bunch of phase amps, you need some wire that can handle those phase amps, all right? So, uh, although I, there's no way I can run one out all the way to the motor, obviously, uh, but I'm going to run it all the way down to our... Uh, I have that uh, three-way distribution block right there, so it will go at least that far, and then uh, whatever's on the actual motor that I install only has to go to the distribution block. So, uh, you know, that's how we're going to do that. So, future-proofing, because uh, I want to be able to run some high power at some point, uh, but... You know, for now, we don't even have a high output battery at the moment. I mean, I do have a, a good battery that I made. But, uh, I mean, like a 26 or a 30 S and a 100 amp hour. So, you know, I'm going to build a, a crazy, stupid big battery for this bike. So, when I do that, uh, we be ready to go. So, yep, that's it. Give you a close look. Because uh, when I was uh, setting this up and just, uh, you know, uh, cutting the wire lengths and, you know, making sure everything was in place, uh, I didn't have uh, the terminals and anything at the time, but I have them now, so uh, everything's on there, and that's where we're at. All right, y'all, catch y'all later. It's how to use a hall sensor tester. I mean, uh, e-bike tester. Peace.